Hello, it's Susan here, and uh, it's been a long time since I've had the opportunity to do a little tutorial for you. Um, this morning, um, I had a little bit of time, so I thought I would uh, redo this one I did yesterday that I named Hippy Dippy because the colors were just so bright and cheery, like sort of 60s, 70s colors. Uh, this is a 4.5 molded stone from the Happy Dotting Company. I, um, like with all my surfaces, I like to prime uh, with the black gesso. Um, for this particular tutorial, I will be putting a coat of Mod Podge over top, um, which I don't normally like to do for videos uh, because it's very shiny. Um, but the purpose of me doing that today uh, is to show you that if you have a little more uh, of a slick surface your swooshes will glide on so much easier. The black um, gesso here is a matte finish and it is to provide uh, a bit of tooth or grip for the paints going on top. So when you swoosh over top of it, it, it can be a little bit scratchy. Um, so I thought I would just show you an option for that. Here's the paints that I'm using, um, and I don't expect you to run out and go buy them, but they are lovely by PBO, and they're an iridescent paint. Um, like you can see this says red blue. When it dries, it has this sort of bluish uh, hue to it, uh, and then the red. And here's the green. Um, they are they are really really lovely. They are heavy bodied, so you do need to use uh, your pouring medium to thin it down. And uh, I don't like to waste, so I'm pouring them into little cups here that I will show you shortly. I've also given you uh, some options here in a second uh, on the paint colors. Uh, golden, of course, is my favorite of all the. The golds. Uh, so I'm just gonna move these up here a little bit so you can see if you don't have the PBO there are lots of colors similar. Uh, so of course Color Shift by Folk Art, um, long time favorite paint, has a very similar effect of iridescence with a bit of color shifting to it. Uh, so these are my best matches. Um, the green was a little harder because that uh, green by PBO is, is quite unique. I didn't even have anything in Arteza close to it. And then in regular acrylics, um, you would just need an orange and a red, a green. And the blue is a bit of a, a tealy blue. So I picked this uh, peacock teal by Deco Art. And then, of course, purple pizzazz, which is one of my favorite purples. But, you know use what you have. Here's uh, me just demonstrating these little cups. I get these on Amazon, um, of course, and here's the pouring medium that I use. I think for most of these things I've put links in the description of the video down below. If you click that you can see. Um, no, I'm not sure how up-to-date some of the links are, so uh, do bear with me. So you can see just a tiny little squirt here. Don't need very much, but I certainly can't dot with it at that consistency. Um, so I, I'd i say it's about 50-50 of the pouring medium. Um, I'll just pour that in there and stir until I like the consistency where it's, it's going to um, give a bit of body to the dot, but not lie completely flat um, and also not lie uh, with little pokey bits, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Little, um, I don't know, little spikes on the top. I don't like that. So I just make it sort of nice and thick, but not too thick. Just wanted to mention uh, the surface that I'm painting on here is um, <clears throat> it's a silicone mat and it's just so nice and easy to clean up afterwards. 
Um, yeah. So I like to um, prime the bottom of my rock first and then the top. That's just a funny little habit I've had. And it's mainly because uh, if I flip the rock the other way around, then sometimes I get little smudges on the top of the rock and I don't like that. So uh, just one easy little coat and then I'll do the Mod Podge. So here's the mod, and I used uh, the gloss version of this. And uh, I probably could have used a sponge or something else. Um, this did li leave little streaks, um, but it didn't affect my ability to dot on it. And when I do put resin over top, you won't even notice the little tiny streaks in it. <laughs> and it does dry clear. Mod Podge is definitely not a final sealant ever. Um, uh, it's, it's just nice to use for other applications like um, things like glitter or if you're going to put decals and things like that on. But I always like to resin afterwards. Here they are all dry as you can see it's quite shiny um, which you know unfortunately for the purposes of videos it does make this a little harder to see but I will do my best during the video to angle it so that you can see where my placement is um, to the best of your ability um, the pattern is very simple so um, I, I my first one I did I didn't even use grid lines I only use that for the video just to give you an indication of spacing um, but yeah there we go and I used a watercolor pencil today just because it, it adheres to the mod a little better and then I wipe it down just a little bit um, just so it's a faint faint mark there and here we go so our first um, first dot it's a nice big gold dot and um, I'm going to let the rest of the video play out now. I'm not sure if I will have any anything more to say until the end. Mm -hmm. 